Our studies suggest that every single day, 2.5 billion gigabytes of data are being created. They're being created by cellular phones, um, instruments that are in roadways, video cameras for public safety, uh, instant messages, text messages, and typical data or paper that we're digitizing. So the, the amount of data that we're ingesting into the enterprise is just big. Um, the variety of data, more than 80% of it is not traditional data. Where it's structured in a database, it's what we call unstructured or semi-structured. The velocity that companies are trying to make business decisions are moving shorter and shorter where time is becoming a critical dimension of our competitiveness or ability. what we call veracity or the the uncertainty of the information because as an enterprise increasingly we're using data that we didn't generate ourselves and so it's these four V's that are the sort of definition of big data. What companies are using it for is to serve their customers better. Uh, to cross-sell across their portfolio to determine who to target with offers and what is the next logical best action. So that's one area that we're seeing is sales, marketing, and service. Another area is finance, financial performance. How well is our enterprise performing? Or risk. What is our operational risk? Uh, what's our financial risk, as an example? or how we interact with our trading partners or suppliers, as an example. These are all areas of usage. So, of course, there's investment required, but I would argue that it's more costly to not invest mm -hmm. than it is to invest, because if you're not investing, somebody's taking your market. The first step is organizational awareness around the economic value that big data and analytics can provide to your company. Can it help us grow revenue? Building a strategy and a roadmap, right? I've already said the possibilities are infinite around how to apply it. The resources are finite. So where do we as a particular enterprise prioritize our investments? In marketing, sales, and service? In workforce productivity, in procurement and supply chain, in financial performance management or risk management, it's in the area of technology and more technical and process skills, if you will. You have to have the tools or the platforms to be able to manage the ingestion of data. You see the same kind of patterns around the world, including Latin America. We see investment from financial services, banks, insurance companies, to better to use data and analytics to better serve their customers. Government protecting our citizens with public safety. Uh, healthcare, government-sponsored healthcare or private healthcare, depending on the country, uh, is an area of big spend. Um, defense is spending on big data and analytics to understand how to protect our borders, how to improve the performance of our resources in the area of defense, as an example. I happen to be, I happen to bank myself with a, a global U.S.-based bank, but there are banks in Latin America for my bank. When I come here, I want them to know me. My bank happens to do a pretty good job of understanding who I am because they've invested in a big data and analytics journey. They have trusted customer data. They've confronted the problem of silos of data. Most organizations haven't done that yet. So data is siloed. And so a culture of sharing data is, is important. Uh, most organizations don't know how to establish the foundation for data quality or data 
proper data management disciplines or data privacy or data security as an example. So what's happening is the volumes are exploding. The different types are, I've already talked about, 80% of it is unstructured. It's big and it's unstructured. It's growing fast. The business wants to make decisions faster and we're uncertain about the data. We're kind of drowning in data. That's the problem, right? And so if we haven't established a, a strategy and a roadmap for how to address this, then we have problems. Even when we have, it comes down to prioritization and skills. You know, budget, people, skills.